is a scorcher out there. We've got a weather alert in effect on this Tuesday. Let's go ahead and bring in Chief Meteorologist Josh Kozart to break down the latest. Josh? Uh, yeah, that Coin 6 weather alert is set to expire at 10 o'clock tonight. So not only for the high heat, but now adding insult to injury with the reduced air quality across much of the Portland-Vancouver metro area. That, too, is expected to subside as our temperatures cool later tonight. 98 degrees. That's where we are currently sitting. You can see a bit of that haze throughout the atmosphere here along the horizon as our air quality falls back into the moderate category for much of the Portland in Vancouver area, and that is a direct cause from pollutants, but also the high temperatures that we are currently experiencing. Bethany at 101, Beaverton at 100 degrees, the rest of us holding tight to the mid to upper 90s at this hour. But we got to talk about ozone, the culprit for the reduced air quality. You might remember back to maybe middle school science class that good ozone is the layer up in a stratosphere that kind of helps reflect and push back all of the harmful rays coming from the sun. But for bad ozone, which is what we are currently experiencing near the surface, it's when you get all of those pollutant particulates to mix chemically with oxygen in the atmosphere. That's what creates that poor air quality. That's why the National Weather Service is issuing that air quality alert for much of the Portland Vancouver metro area set to expire at 8 o'clock tonight when those temperatures are expected to cool. But keeping extreme heat warnings, heat advisories in place through 10 o'clock tonight. That's where heat related illnesses are at an all time high. Many of us holding on to the mid to upper 90s right now, but 101 is where some of us could push our way to over the next hour to two hours before we start to cool things back. The hottest air we have experienced so far this summer season over the past two days. 99 degrees here in the Rose City as we've gathered up 14 days in the 90s. So far this summer, our average is about 15 days. So now is the time to kind of refamiliarize yourself with the heat-related dangers and illnesses that are still a possibility for the remainder of the night. But coming up in my extended forecast, I am tracking a major cooling trend and the chance of rain returning to our area. I have a detailed timeline of when all of that comes to fruition in just a few minutes. Thanks, Josh.